What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ruthless Reviews. Today we're going to take a quick look at the newest version of my personal favorite two battery mod, the limited run Zeus Legend Kit from Geekvape. This device is constructed with a magnesium alloy, which they claim is the world's strongest and lightest metal used in a vape mod. I don't necessarily know if that's true, but uh, if it is, that's pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, this limited run version maintains the same standards for water, shock, and dust resistance, and comes equipped with an upgraded AS chip, also sporting the new Zeus tank, all packaged into a more lightweight and resilient chassis. The Zeus tank itself comes with a pre-installed mesh Z2 coil and a 5 milliliter bubble glass with a spare Z1 coil and a straight glass included in the box as well. So one of my personal favorite things about this mod and the older versions is that it's got very, very solid construction and it's built to last. I personally had one of the original ones. I used it for about a year and I didn't really have any issues with it as far as functionality goes. Uh, although I will say over time, kind of the, the lip right here did start to peel back a little bit just from being pulled out of my pocket so many times. And ultimately what ended the device was a really strong drop to the bottom, which ended up kind of making the battery door crooked. So although it has incredible shock resistance, there is a little bit of a soft spot in the bottom. So you do have to watch out for that. The colors match really, really nicely between the tank and the mod itself, which I personally enjoy because I've purchased mods in the past where you get a blue that's slightly different or a black or whatever on the tank from the actual body. And even the screen itself has a nice tint of blue to it. So the entire thing matches really, really well. Now, as far as the tank performance goes, I've tried a lot of sub-ohm tanks out there at this point, and I'm sure you guys have as well, but I've been really, really impressed with the Zeus tank. I haven't really tried too, too many of these top airflow tanks aside from this one, but I really enjoy the uh, not leaking. That's, that's a really big plus for me. And the flavor seems to be pretty incredible. When I first tried to kind of just dry hit it, I was a little worried because it seemed a little airy and I was kind of concerned that I was gonna lose some flavor, but this thing just really chucks. And I don't lose any flavor on that. I get exactly what I would expect from a bottom feed system. I just don't have to worry about it dribbling all over the place when I set it on its side. Um, as far as the chip improvements go, which they're kind of claiming with this mod, I really enjoyed the original chip and I don't see too much of a difference between the old one and the new one, to be completely honest with you. But uh, I'm guessing it has something to do with the actual resistance for uh, shock damage and drops and stuff like that. So people that might've experienced a bad chip, uh, burning out chip or anything, they probably just took a look at improving that. So I'll probably be able to say a little bit more about that as time goes on. So just to run over the cons with this device, which personally I don't see a whole lot of, it's more aesthetic stuff. Um, I'll just kind of graze over that for you guys really, really quick. The original version had this really cool like shoelacing kind of thing where it kind of weaved in and out along the edge of this pad. And I don't really see that with this, with this particular mod. So I was a little sad to see that they took that out, but I don't really, mind it being gone. I just personally thought it was kind of a cool thing because most mods don't have that sort of thing. Um, as I mentioned before, the battery door isn't as resilient as the rest of the mod. So again, it's a soft spot. It's something that you got to watch out for, but I do really enjoy that it has kind of that, that flip switch to it where you have to really like push it down and in to make sure that it's, it's closed. And once it's there, it's not really going anywhere. And probably the last thing I would complain about, if at all, would be this design on the actual grip itself. I'm not really sure how well this will hold up over time. Obviously, like this is the point where your hand is gonna make contact the most. So depending on what they used for this, I imagine this will start to flake and kind of chip off. But I haven't really used it for long enough to say for sure. So it may hold up, it may not. It's just kind of something that made me a little bit nervous when I took it out of the box immediately. So if you're a consumer and you'd like to pick up one of these for yourself, you can find them over at ejuiceplug.com. And if you're a shop owner looking for wholesale on this guy, you can pick them up from our friends over at New Imports LLC. As always, if you enjoyed this review, please don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe, and the bell button down below. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you next time.